Hey everybody, what's up? So today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your M1 Mac mini with one terabyte of storage for less than $150. So on Apple's website, if you wanna upgrade your M1 Mac mini with one terabyte of storage, you're looking at around $400. With this setup, you're actually gonna save more than $250. So that's a very good deal in my opinion. For this setup, I'll be using this USB-C dock with a hard drive enclosure. The brand is called Hagibis, or Hagibis, however you want to pronounce that. Um, this right here is the SSD drive I'll be using. It's a Samsung 870 with the read speeds of 560 megabits per second and the write speeds of 530 megabits per second. Amazon has a great sale going on right now. So if you want to pick up this SSD, you can actually get it for 89 bucks. The regular price is 130 bucks. This USB-C hub right here, I was able to pick it up for $49, but they sell out real fast. So everything here, I'll leave a link in the description and you guys can go check it out. Here's everything unboxed. This is the SSD, feels very light. This is the USB-C dock. Let's take a look around. So you power it by USB-C. There's the logo. On the back you have that hard drive enclosure. So that's where you'll put this SSD. And you'll close it up. Now once you close it up, you can secure it with these screws. They also provided a screwdriver. So here's the screwdriver. Gave you some extra pads. The screws. And a USB-C cable to connect this to this. So now let's take a closer look at the front. You get two USB 2.0 ports with a transmission speed of up to 480 megabits per second. You get two USB 3.0 ports with transmission speeds up to five gigabits per second. You do have some LED lights right here. You do get a SD card slot and a TF card slot. Now they can read both cards simultaneously and the transmission speeds on those is five gigabits per second also. Now let's put this all together. First thing first, pop this cover off and we'll put this in like that. And we can close this up. And we could put those screws in. So this is how I set up everything on my desk. I definitely recommend that you guys try this out as it's a great way to save money and upgrade your storage at the same time. I have a lot of accessories coming in for this M1 Mac Mini. So if you guys want to see that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. And also give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned for the setup process. So this is how you connect it to the Mac Mini. It's pretty simple. And also this is how you can have it set up. You could have the Mac Mini on top, or you could have the Mac Mini on the bottom. It's just your preference, whatever you like. All right, so now let's go over the setup process together. If this message pops up, just simply ignore it. And you wanna go here, go over to other, and head on to this utility. Now, once we're here, this is the one terabyte drive that we have connected. You want to go to erase and you can just name it whatever you want. So let's name it SSD and we'll leave that to APFS and just hit erase. And that's it. All done. Just wait for it. Hit done. There we go. And it should pop up right over here. You can see it, Lamar MK SSD. 
and that's all you pretty much have to do. So here's a quick tip. If you do not want the SSD to show up on the desktop right here, like that, we can actually move it. So if we go to finder here, open this, go to preferences, external disk, notice it disappeared. All right, so now let's run some speed test on this SSD. See what we get. And let's select this drive and let's hit start. So we seem to be getting over 300 megabits per second on the right. And just over 300 megabits per second on the read. Now that's pretty good. I know there's something going on with these M1 Max where they're not, you know, reading as fast as they should for the um, advertised specs on the SSD drives. But that's something Apple's going to have to work out, but it's still great performance nonetheless. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching and peace out.